a quick walkthrough to show you how to integrate Tanium Integrity Monitor with ServiceNow. Uh, that gives us the capability to be able to pull back approved change control tickets from ServiceNow and map changes as we record them on the endpoint to those approved change control tickets. Uh, notice that we're on the home page here in Integrity Monitor. There's a gear icon that will take me into the setup screen. And from there, I can go into the integrations tab and then go ahead and create a new integration. Notice that I have to give it a name and then put in all the information for the instance that I'm connecting to. So let me just go ahead and fill that out. Uh, the username, I'm going to use admin here just for ease of demonstration purposes, but this does only require read-only access, uh, and that's a user that you would get from your ServiceNow administrator. Notice that once the connection is established, we reach out to that instance and we pull back details of how that instance is configured for change management. We give you the capability to be able to select whether you want to track both change requests and tasks or just one uh, of either. Uh, by default, we track both. And notice that we also pull back the state information from that instance. So if you have configured customized states and you've changed how you interact with the change control solution within ServiceNow, we can accommodate that. You simply have to map the proper uh, status in terms of integrity monitor status with what would be appropriate for your instance. And notice that you have the ability to do that for both requests as well as tasks. Finally, we have uh, an endpoint mapping that we perform. And what that does is it builds a table of known integrity monitor systems with their CI counterparts in ServiceNow. And again, much like with the other options that I showed before, we do have the capability to be able to customize this. We can add additional criteria uh, if that's desired or appropriate for the environment. Once we enable this, by default, we're going to sync on a daily basis. Uh, we can change that to an interval. Notice that we can change that to whatever interval is appropriate from 1 to 12 hours every 1 to 12 hours, uh, the default being 8. And then we also have an endpoint sync, and this is where we build that table of known integrity monitor systems with ServiceNow. Uh, and there's a number of other different selectors here. Uh, all of these in most instances can be left in the default. And once I click Create, uh, I now have the integration. I can see that green feedback bar at the bottom. And from now on, the system will connect with ServiceNow on the frequencies that we've configured. It will pull back those change control tickets and it will map them correctly to those changes as they're recorded on the endpoint.